Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome. My name is Naya or Nat, and you can call me whichever you prefer. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick, hopefully quick, get ready with me using Rosa Beauty Hair from AliExpress. This is a lace front wig, transparent, as you can see. You can see my cap underneath it here. Like, it's super transparent, but we're going to customize this baby up and get her looking great so I already kind of sort of plucked it I really didn't do too much plucking at all because she's going to be a middle part I haven't done a middle part in a very long time so I'm just going to show you how I style it how I apply it without using any glue I'm just going to use hairspray I have an elastic band in the back that I sewed on prior to applying this wig so she's good and secure I just want to show you the construction of this wig so this is what it looks like so if you go on the inside you see I have some combs in here I won't be using these front combs at all um, and I have a back comb and a little stretchy band I sewed on my own elastic band using elastic that I already had um, but I will be using the clip to kind of snap the back down into place this is what the lace looks like. The wig fits my head perfectly. Uh, so we're just gonna see how she straightens, how she'll look once I apply her, etc., etc. Okay, first things first, I part her down the middle. Like so. It's not super perfect, but. This is good enough. And I'm gonna take my hot comb. We are gonna hot comb her down. Okay, this is okay, but I'm gonna go back in with the hot comb and just fix up some in the back and then also kind of make a swoop, like a little in the front As of right now, we are good with the hot comb, and now I'm going to cut this beautiful, beautiful lace off. So I'm just going to clip my hair away, and you just want to make sure that the lace is as pulled up as possible. So this is where I'll probably glue my lace front down, so I just want to make sure that I have it as pulled up as it's going to be. Clip all the hair out the way. What? any hair to disturb you. Handy dandy scissors. I'm gonna cut in the front first. Okay, she's looking good. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take her off and I'm gonna take some powder. I'm using NC42 from MAC. I'm gonna just get some on my powder brush. And apply that all over the lace. Since this is transparent, whatever you put on it, it's going to go ahead and pick up that color, which I love. I really, do. I like transparent lace and I like HD lace. All right, that should be good enough. That should be good. Okay, 
this is what she's looking like so far i'm gonna go ahead and use my got to be free spray to just secure her down i don't like using glue and i'm not a big fan of um what's that called like glue spun i'm not a big fan i am getting some tangling but that's because i tweezed it um so it's still some of the hair from that i tweezed coming out of it but i haven't been getting shedding other than that all right once again i'm clipping my hair <laughs> I clip my hair all the time <laughs> just in different ways okay clipping hair out the way i'm going to pull the wig up just a little bit and i'm going to take this got to be hairspray and spray it all over my hairline And I'm going to take my blow dryer and blow dry it on warm, not cold, warm. Whoop. I'm going to just take the hair and place it where I placed the spray. I use a comb to help me just press that down. Go back in with that spray and I just spray down little pieces that aren't secured down and then I blow dry that again. I'm just going to separate the hairs that are just naturally separating from my hairline. I'm going to take my scissors, cut these off. Alright, I try not to cut it too, too short. Oh, <laughs> I look crazy. I try not to cut it too, too short um, because you can always go back in and cut, but you can never go back in and add hair. So I try not to cut it too short. I'm just going to readjust my clip. I'm going to take this Nairobi foaming wrap lotion. Of course, of course, of course. And I'm going to use this to mold down the baby hairs that I created. If you hear this noise, it's my dog trying to get to my cat. And, you know, no matter how much I try to tell him to stop, he don't want to stop. Now that these are kind of molded down, I'm going to tie my edges down. This will, for one, mold my edges, but then it'll also help melt that lace a little bit more. All right, now to finally style the hair. Um, I was thinking curls, but now I'm kind of thinking straight, but I'm like, hmm, what do I really, really, really want? I feel like I always do curls. I haven't worn my hair straight in a very long time. So a part of me is like, just straighten it. But then another part of me is like, girl, you love your curls though. That's why you always wear it like that. Let's just straighten it. Why not? Why not just straighten it? It'll be quick too. I'm using my Babyless Pro 
Is it like my one and a half inch or one and two, one and a quarter? Is that what it is, one and a quarter? Flat irons. Gonna part my hair in half down the middle and the back. Make sure you keep that scarf out the way. It's just getting in the way. Okay, I'm just gonna work with one half at a time. So when I'm straightening my hair, especially some body wave hair like this that's pretty much straight, I don't, I don't do too much. I take a nice big old section, cut the rest away. Take my comb, comb it out. Place my comb right here, nice and stable. Take the flat iron. Just run it down the shaft of the hair slowly. The hair straightens really nicely. Take this size. I'm actually gonna split this into two to make it a little easier for me. Okay, so I finished straightening my hair, but of course when you straighten your hair, you get flyaways. So I'm going to go in with my tried and true slick stick. From Lester's, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my finger, and then I'll rub it in my hand. rub that all on my hair and that gets rid of any flyaways I was having. Now I'm just going to take this scarf off my head. My edges are looking like I just kind of comb them out a little bit. Just so they can be a little less perfect. Lastly, I'm gonna take my comb, take a little bit of got to be free spray, like that. I'm gonna let it get a little bit tacky. I'm gonna use that to push back my hair. It was pretty much already pushed back, but this will make sure that it stays like that. So there's no hairs coming out of it. That it's just it's gonna be nice and put together. You can do that as many times as you need to until you get it how you want. Let me show y'all the back. And this hair at a first glance is okay. Um, it's not like uniform throughout as in like it's not thick from beginning to end. I had to cut a lot of the ends off because there were some longer ends and I don't know what that was about. Um, yeah, the hair isn't like super thick or anything. Uh, when you get to the end, it does get a little stringy. Other than that, like the hair is pretty soft, but it is the first day of me wearing it. Um, but it is soft. I would just say that the, the biggest con for me was that is that the ends are not super thick. Like this hair isn't super thick hair, which, you know, it makes it look natural. But if you like your hair, if you feel like your hair strands to be nice and thick and strong, this isn't that. But I love the lace on this. It, it is transparent. It definitely is transparent. Um, I like that. And it straightens easily, but I think that's because it's kind of thin. This also came with the hair, which I'm all for getting free little mini bags because I use this for my makeup. Um, inside of the bag, it is a wig cap, but it's not my color. But it is a wig cap. An elastic band. Oh! An elastic band. It's just a really short one, though. A comb, Ooh. A comb which I need another comb. 
Weft Sealer, I believe this is. Broken Hair Finishing Cream. So I'm guessing this is Weft Sealer. It's in, um, I don't know the language. I don't know if it's Mandarin or what kind of Chinese language it is, but I can't read that. Clips, bobby pins, and tweezers, which is always great. But yeah, that, this is it, guys. This is my my glueless routine. Of course, I use hairspray, but it's because you have to kind of make sure it's laying properly. And I didn't do this elastic band as tight as I've done the others because, y'all, I be walking around with headaches. Headaches. Because it's so tight. <laughs> Having that straight hair is so long. I've had a middle part in so long. Oh, I don't know how to act. I'm feeling like a joy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, share it with your friends and family if you did like it. Be sure, of course, to always leave suggestions down below of videos that you would like me to show you or videos that you would like to see. Until next time, guys. Bye.